In Musk's quest of transporting humans to Mars and beyond, his space company SpaceX has made a surprise move of changing everything on the Starship. You can now talk of new designs and more superior capability. What are the exact changes on the Starship? In the changes, what technology is at play? It is possible that now you could be asking yourself, were the changes necessary in the first place? Let us find out in this video where all your questions about the latest changes on the SpaceX Starship will be settled. As you may be aware, Musk's SpaceX is arguably the largest commercial space company in the world. SpaceX has been such a big success to an extent that America's space agency NASA is involving it in almost all matters rocket and space business. To be specific, you can mention the Artemis III program where SpaceX is helping NASA develop a human landing system on the moon in a $1.5 billion contract. Today, the SpaceX Dragon 2 capsule is used to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station. While it is true that the Artemis III and the Dragon 2 capsule projects are important, the development of the SpaceX Starship spacecraft is of greater focus. You can be sure that SpaceX founder and CEO Musk, with his team of engineers, will not rest until they find the perfect vehicle that will travel the 140 million miles from Earth to Mars. It is quite a tall order, and the SpaceX team is ready to stand tall. You will agree with me that it is only possible to appreciate the changes in the Starship if you understand how the Starship was in the first place. As the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, the Starship transportation system comprises the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship Rocket. The stainless steel Starship is 121 meters tall and has a diameter of 9 meters. The chief designer in SpaceX has installed 40 cabins in the Starship that will be used to transport humans. Musk confirmed this by saying, you could conceivably have five or six people per cabin if you really wanted to crowd people in. But I think mostly we would expect to see two or three people per cabin, and so nominally about 100 people per flight to Mars. Other than transporting humans, the SpaceX Starship is also designed to carry cargo in a cargo bay, which is 30 feet wide and loosely translates to around 9 meters. The design of the cargo bay is meant to carry payloads of up to 100 tons. Musk has severally said that the Starship will be used to carry some construction materials to Mars, which will help him build a self-sustaining city on the Red Planet by 2060. There is no doubt that the Starship is a masterpiece of engineering with such a design. But with Musk, there is always room for improvement. You just expect this from a tech genius who is always focused on more innovation. When Musk finds it necessary, he makes changes in his tech projects without hesitation. The case of the SpaceX Starship is no exception. In the latest changes, the SpaceX team has implemented hardware changes on the Starship vehicle to improve leak reduction, fire protection, and redefined operations associated with the propellant vent to increase reliability. The previously planned move from a hydraulic system for the vehicle's Raptor engines to an entirely electric system also removes potential sources of flammability. An important change that has been done on the Starship is the upgrading and modifying of the heat shield system. The new heat shield can now withstand a more extreme amount of heat. A decision was also made by the SpaceX team to change the shape of the heat shields from the square heat shields to hexagonal ones. The hexagon is a great shape because it offers no straight path for hot gas to accelerate through the gaps, Musk added. If tests show any heat shield erosion for Starship, SpaceX plans to add additional cooling systems to protect the spacecraft. Transpiration cooling will be added wherever we see erosion of the shield, Musk wrote. Starship needs to be ready to fly again immediately after landing. Zero refurbishment. After fixing the heat shield problem, SpaceX Starship will see a great change in the technology behind the landing leg system. SpaceX's Starship program is hurtling towards the future, and a critical piece of that future rests on its landing legs. These mighty metal limbs have the daunting task of bringing this behemoth safely back to Earth. While they faced some challenges in past prototypes, whispers of upgrades suggest exciting things are in store. Early hiccups with leg deployment and stability during landings underscored the need for improvement. Imagine even stronger materials or a revamped design. 
These are the kinds of reinforcements that might be taking shape to ensure the legs can handle the immense forces of a returning starship, but the focus might extend beyond raw strength. We could see tweaks to the deployment mechanism itself, leading to a smoother, more controlled landing sequence. Picture the legs locking securely in place, ready to absorb the impact. Of course, there's always more to the story than what's officially revealed. Speculation can take flight here. Perhaps the legs will be outfitted with heat-resistant materials to withstand the scorching re-entry. Maybe they'll even have built-in sensors that can detect potential damage before landing, allowing for real-time adjustments. The future could even hold automated landing routines, minimizing human error and ensuring a picture-perfect touchdown. These upgrades aren't just about bragging rights. They're the key to a truly reusable starship. Without them, each landing would be a one-shot deal, driving up costs. Additionally, these advancements provide valuable data for future iterations, allowing SpaceX to refine their leg designs based on real-world testing. Remember, Starship aspires to land on diverse surfaces, from Earth's launch pad to the unforgiving lunar terrain. Upgraded legs need to be adaptable to handle a variety of landing environments, the exact details of these upgrades remain under wraps for now, but one thing is clear. SpaceX is actively developing robust and reliable landing leg technology. As the Starship development continues its rapid ascent, these powerful upgrades are poised to play a vital role in a new era of space exploration. The ultimate goal of all the modifications and changes on the Starship is to develop a system that is capable of carrying satellites, payloads, crew, cargo to a variety of orbits or Earth, lunar, or Martian landing sites. You can be sure that you are likely to see a number of changes on the Starship in the near future since it is not yet perfect. What are some of the changes that you think that the SpaceX engineering team should make on the Starship if they have to succeed in sending humans to Mars? I invite you to share your views about this complex issue in the comment section below. To this end, thanks for watching and feel free to, to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on the latest SpaceX news.